Hello and good morning everybody. It's Alastair here with another daily challenge for you and today we're going to be talking about timelines. Now timelines are a great way of understanding um, how things fit together, how events fit together, how one event can lead to another and how history um, or any study of any period of time can be broken down into key events. So when we talk about um, putting things in the order that they actually happened, we are talking about something called chronology, which means putting things in their correct time order. So when we add events to a timeline, the word we use is that we say we are putting them in chronological order. So, to introduce properly what I'm talking about, I would like you to have a go at putting some events in chronological order. So, I am going to just um, shrink myself down. I am going to share my display with you. And I'm going to get you to look at this slide here. So, we've got a timeline here, which will look something like this, starting from the oldest thing and kind of flowing through to the most up-to-date thing. And I've got four events here that I want you to think about. We've got um, dinosaurs being on Earth. We've got the Earth forming, the very beginning of Earth. We've got the time that you were born. And we've got World War II. So, what I'd like you to think about is which order those things happened in, which order they need to be in on our timeline. And if you need to stop the video to have a little think about that, do that now. Okay, so hopefully you've managed to put these things in um, chronological order. So we'll do that together. So obviously um, the first one here is the um, earth forming. Okay. And that happened about 4.5 billion years ago, approximately. Um, then, just 270 million years ago, we had um, dinosaurs on Earth uh, for the first time. You see, I'm leaving a bigger gap between the Earth forming and the dinosaurs because that's billions and billions of years. So um, one thing you'll get used to when you're creating your timeline is kind of using this as a scale, not spacing things out evenly, but thinking about exactly where things need to go on the timeline. Um, and then what happened next was, although quite a long time after, was World War II, which started in 1939. And then right at the very end of this timeline, you were born not so very long ago. So what I'd probably do if I was um, doing this for real is use little arrows here and go ahead and write the dates on this to properly finish off this timeline. But that's not a bad start. Too easy? Okay, let's have a look at this. So here are three household inventions that you may well have in your house. We've got the refrigerator, the camera, and the TV. The question is, what order were they invented in? Which one came first and which was the most recent invention? So again, if you want to have a little think, stop video here. Okay, so um, what do you think? So I can tell you that the oldest one of these, that's actually in the right place, was the refrigerator. The first working refrigerator, according to my research, was invented um, in 1834. So that's, wow, 170, 180 years ago almost. Um, and then the next one was, and these are actually in the, in the right order here, because the next one was the um, camera in 1888, the first working camera. And then we had the, finally the TV in um, 1927. So those are spaced pretty evenly, probably about right on this um, timeline here. 
Okay, so uh, I'm going to come back to you for a second just to talk about some of the options that you've got when you create your timeline because there are really so many different things that you can do with this. So you could do a timeline of inventions, um, you know, things that have people have come up with from cars to the wheel to the internet that would be a really fascinating thing to do or it could be the progress of a particular invention so for example I've seen people do a good job of doing timeline of the computer or it could be the development of you know video consoles or, or mobile phones starting with the first mobile phone possibly with a picture of it and then going all the way through to to the most recent thing um, you could put your lifetime onto a timeline, like from when you were born, your first steps, whether your family have moved, you know, what's gone on in your family, brothers and sisters, pets, things like that. And that would be a really nice kind of exercise, perhaps, to think back on the order that things have happened in your life. Um, you could do a similar thing for a famous person or someone that you admire find out about um, you know a figure in history that you really didn't know much about um, you know that that might work really well for this it could be periods of history so you could look at something like World War II um, you could uh, actually do a world history one so you could think about where the Romans came and where the Egyptians came and so on and all the rest of it you might want to go big if you were going to do something like that and get it on the wall somewhere in your house that you can really add lots and lots of different things. It could be a dinosaur timeline, so the different um, periods of, of dinosaurs within the you know that sort of time frame, or it might be the development of the solar system. Could be absolutely anything that's happened over any period of time. Okay, so how are you going to present it? Well, if I just um, share with you again um, there is a, um, a thing on Twinkle that you could possibly think about using um, this is pretty good because there are different options you've got um, one here where you could um, you know draw the event or you could um, you know here and this one here have a drawing and possibly um, some extra information some some research about the things you found out uh, this is good for lots of events and um, this again might suit pictures or people, um, portraits and they've all got this timeline running through so that's going to be essential to any way you decide to present yours. Um, the only downside with these is these are a little bit regular and here these are actually sort of pointed to the same spot on the timeline so when I've used these before I've actually covered these over and put the arrows in you know more sort of natural and, and accurate positions rather than just meeting each other and again you could have lines here to exactly where things were on the timeline um, but actually it's uh, it's really quite easy to um, go ahead and make those yourself because all you need is that sort of big arrow running through your timeline and then you need to decide where you're going to place things on that timeline. So um, pretty much all I've got to say on this one, I'm going to let you go and get on with it. Um, as always, uh, whether you're watching on Facebook or on YouTube, I will link some resources below that could be useful to you. And uh, we would absolutely love to see anything that you come up with in terms of a timeline. So I hope you enjoy this challenge and I'll see you again soon for another daily challenge. Thanks and goodbye.